Hey guys, Wartshot here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Minecraft off of solely a USB drive. So if you can't download Minecraft on your school computer, say it's blocked or something, if you have a Windows computer at school, you can still just plug in this USB drive and launch Minecraft from it. So step one is that you want to uh, format your drive. So I'm going to right click it, and then you just got to click format and you want to change it from xfat which is the default to ntfs and then i'm just going to change it to minecraft you don't actually have to change the name but i'm just going to be doing that for the sake of the video and then you're going to want to click ok but make sure that you do transfer all data off of the usb drive because the, doing this will delete all of the data on it now once you have the drive formatted you're going to want to go to new and then folder and you're going to be structuring the files here so you're going to want to um, make sure that you follow the caps and the spaces 100% correct so you want to do minecraft with a capital M and then portable there with a space on it in between no space at the end and then you're going to want to create two new folders here one called bin no caps and then one called data And the next thing that you want to do is to create your launch file. So um, what you want to do is open up Notepad. And then um, in the description, there's going to be a string of text. You're going to want to copy that and then paste it. And make sure that you um, keep in these uh, little quotation marks because that will complete and end it. So now you want to go to Save. And then you want to click All Files here. And then you are going to want to click or type in minecraft portable.bat and this will make a windows batch file after you do that you're going to want to save the batch file and then move it into the minecraft portable folder as i did right here this is how you're going to be able to launch minecraft and the next step is that you want to get the actual executable file for minecraft so what you're going to want to do is find minecraft.exe then you're just going to want to download that and you can see it's downloaded it right here then you're going to want to go back into your minecraft portable file for your um flash drive and then you're going to want to drag that into it and then drag that into bin and the last thing you want to do for the folders is you want to go into the data folder and then you want to make a new folder called dot minecraft and then you also want to put another dot at the end of it and there you go and now the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to um the bin section and you're going to want to run minecraft.exe you will get a little tab right here saying updating minecraft launcher you just have to wait for that to update and then after that it will start downloading all of the files and auto completing the rest of the file system um, that you need for this remember though that um, you have to do this at home because some schools will not let you um, actually access the minecraft servers and now you can see it loaded up the minecraft launcher so you just have to log in and then you can play So yeah, if you want to play Minecraft on a school computer, that is how to do it. If you have any questions or if something is not working, uh, ask me in the comments down below. I'll try to answer it soon. And that's going to be about it. Thanks for watching.